Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Nick Swan here. Uh, so anyway, it's a uh, New Year's Day, 2019. Plus, uh, just getting back from uh, Smithfield, Selma area, on the way back to in the Garner. And uh, so right now, I'm on the US 70 bypass, and it well, it looks like it, it looks like there's going to be some speeders today. Well, I'll tell you why, because uh, the North Carolina State Troop slash Hub Patrol is out. Yeah, just setting up the speed traps. I got my trusted radar detector anyway, to know where, where exactly they're at. But I'm not even speeding myself. I mean, speed limit's 55 miles an hour. I got, you know, I got the cruise control set at 55 miles an hour. That way I wouldn't have to worry about, you know, going over or under, uh, over. Yeah. I mean, they don't care if you go slower than what the speed limit is anyway, but not like in a, but other different, I don't know, like not 20 or 30 miles below the speed limit. Yeah. Plus on US 70, well, you see that sign there, like after that uh, exit there, this uh, turns into the US 70 bypass where there's an extra lane, and plus the speed limit increases to uh, 70 miles an hour. So when I'm driving my my Econ, you know, I go that you know, close to speed limit because well, a four speed overdrive automatic, and the cruise control, you know, the tachometer, like the red needle, the tach needle, you know, shows red at like around 1700. RPMs, but for some reason on this truck with a stick shift uh, at 60, 65, 70 miles an hour, uh, and with the cruise control engaged in, in the fifth gear, you know the tank. It looks like it's running what passed uh, like more than 2,000 RPMs, like let's say 2,100, 2,200 RPMs, you know, which is going to use up my gas. Besides, I'm not in a freaking hurry, anyways. Yeah, besides, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go through a uh, US 70 business. I can still get the guard this way. It's a little bit longer, though, but the speed limits, you know, just goes from like 55 to 45 to back to 55. And I don't worry about holding up anybody on that 70 mile an hour speed limit on the other side of that freeway. I think it goes to I 40, which would be a longer way. So yeah, this is, I mean, how I got my fuel economy in this truck, you know, I just had the cruise control set at 55 miles an hour, and, you know, the tank, you know, was like at 1900 RPMs, well, it was better than what I was doing before, and so far, let's see, I get like around mid-20s with this, you know, it has 185 horsepower, and I drive so fast. So I'm doing good with uh, 23 miles per gallon. I know the older uh, mini trucks are before Four-cylinder device speeds to get like around 27, 30. But there'll be ways to get uh, 30 miles per gallon in this truck. We'll get uh, a tuner kit that I can just switch on for uh, economy into uh, sport mode, performance, and then hauling mode. Which I doubt I'm going to be hauling any more stuff with this truck. Anyways. Yeah, just pulled up at the red light now. Oh boy, somebody's in a fucking hurry. I don't even race like that in my Yukon anymore. Yeah. Yeah, plus my phone's mounted on the. This uh, phone mount that goes on the AC vent. It's clipped on there. So yeah, it's hands free. So I can just shift. Yeah. Like how these uh, traffic lights are synchronized. I mean, especially with a 55 mile an hour speed limit, like, it made no damn sense. Like a fucking red light there, I'm on, already got full, uh, 40 miles an hour and that fourth gear, then I had a freaking downshift because of the damn red light. Yeah, shift by keen on. Then back to 55 miles an hour. Especially with not that many cars like it is now. Yeah, it's a lot quicker to get back to the car. So, yeah, it's just a to be, you know, you got between 55 to 45, back to 55 mile an hour. Well, as soon as I pass uh, White Oak, well, not White Oak, but I 40, then that's when the speed limit drops down back to uh, 45 miles an hour. And it goes like that off the car. Well, you see, I mean, that speed limit is bad in the state like that. Yeah, but Carrell, I think mostly Carrell makes some horsepower. Got like the even number speed limit signs. 
yeah, you'll see a freaking, you know, 20 miles an hour, a 30 mile an hour zone, and then a 40 mile an hour zone, and a 50 mile an hour zone, which, I don't know, it, it's, it's better just with the dollar numbers on here. Yeah, it's better just 35, 45, 55. Essentially, going to the outskirts of uh, town, yeah, I know the corporate is getting their speed limits are 55 miles an hour. Oh, now, you see the speed limit sign right there. It's at 45, so we're good. Oh, well, let's go with another lane. Down a little bit. I sometimes go 50 miles an hour in this 45 mile an hour zone. And if I see a cop, you know, especially with the air going off, I just downshift and just get to 45. It, it won't take me to take long to get into that. Yeah, my mom taught me that trick when I was first driving. Yeah. So. But, I mean, she don't have a radar detector either. I but she's never got pulled over, so actually she's a good driver. She never got the ticket. My dad had, like, I think, like, two tickets on his, uh, I don't know, 35, 36 years of driving. And my mom's been driving for, like, I don't know, 30 years. Never a freaking ticket. Yeah, I don't know how she does it, you know. I gotta ask what her secret is. She always drives on that car. Five speed, yeah, well, she don't like it anyway. So, I mean, she knows how to drive it. She just don't like to drive it because my uncle, you know, he's kind of a six-fifth car and he had some problem with his hip and his leg for pressing the clutch all the time. He goes, well, he's a, well, he's a cab driver. He's, got, he's driving a cab car that has a six-fifth just so he can get better gas mileage. So, just being a taxi cab driver. Yeah. So it looks like he had to switch to automatic today. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, this, this is all for like, uh, right now is for New Year's Day. I'm going through the fleet. Going back to the car. So uh, we'll see you around. Later.